गुड मॉर्निंग इलेवेंथ क्लास टुडे आई लाइक एक्सप्लेन बर्जीलियस हाइपोथेसिस आफ्टर दैट एवोगेड्रोज लॉ एंड एटॉमिक मास नाउ इन दिस वन दैट बर्जीलियस हाइपोथेसिस इज न्यू फॉर यू बिकॉज एवोगेड्रोज लॉ इज ओल्ड वन दैट वी हैव स्टडीड इन अर्लियर क्लासेज ऑल्सो ओके नाउ इन केस ऑफ बर्जीलियस हाइपोथेसिस ओके नाउ जस्ट सी फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल अंडरस्टैंड द डिफरेंस बिटवीन हाइपोथेसिस एंड लॉ ओके नाउ एक्चुअली दैट वन इज बर्जील हाइपोथेसिस मीन्स कि बस किसी ने कोई बात कह दी ओके विदाउट प्रूफिंग इट या विदाउट एनी एक्सपेरिमेंटल वेरीफिकेशन एंड समथिंग ओके तो दैट वन विल नॉट बिकम अ लॉ दिस वन इज ओनली अ स्टेटमेंट ओके एंड वट एवर इज द लॉ तो दिस वन इज आफ्टर प्रूफ कि उसने कुछ प्रूफ किया उसके बाद उसका क्या बना है लॉ बना है तो दिस वन इज अ बर्जीलियस हाइपोथेसिस इट्स नॉट अ लॉ ओके नाउ इन केस ऑफ अकॉर्डिंग टू बर्जीलियस हाइपोथेसिस इन दिस या अकॉर्डिंग टू दिस यू कैन से इक्वल वॉल्यूम ऑफ ऑल गैसेस कंटेन इक्वल नंबर ऑफ एटम्स अंडर सिमिलर कंडीशन ऑफ टेम्परेचर एंड प्रेशर कंडीशन ऑल्सो रिक्वायर्ड इट्स अ सेम टेम्परेचर इन दैट वन ओके दैट वन इज इक्वल वॉल्यूम ऑफ ऑल गैसेस कंटेन इक्वल नंबर ऑफ एटम्स ओके नाउ हाउ द सी फॉर एग्जाम्पल ओके बट दिस वन इज जनरली नॉट वैलिड और नॉट पॉसिबल ओके आई एल एक्सप्लेन विद द हेल्प ऑफ एग्जाम्पल कि वाई दिस वन इज नॉट पॉसिबल कि इक्वल वॉल्यूम ऑफ ऑल गैसेज कंटेन इक्वल नंबर ऑफ एटम दिस वन इज नॉट पॉसिबल वाई नाउ जस्ट सी विल टेक वेरी वेरी जनरल एग्जाम्पल नाउ दिस वन इज हाइड्रोजन प्लस क्लोरिन ओके बोथ एग्जिस्ट एज अ डायटॉमिक मॉलिक्यूल नाउ इट फॉर्म्स हाइड्रोक्लोरिक एसिड यू हैव टू बैलेंस इट टू फॉलो लॉ ऑफ कंजर्वेशन ऑफ मास नाउ जस्ट सी नाउ रिएक्शन इज बैलेंस नाउ सपोज इन दिस ओके नंबर ऑफ एटम ओके हेयर नंबर ऑफ एटम सपोज इट्स एन एटम ओके नाउ हेयर ऑल्सो एन ओके एंड हेयर because its the total is n and here this one is 2n so this one is 2n but it's a compound atom because hcl now this one is you can write this one is a compound atom or either you can say it's a hcl molecule now the c in case of this n here also n this one is 2n because you see here it's 2 now in this case check in this one number of atom you know number of atom because it's n so here nothing is there this one is one okay here also it's one and here it is two it's one one and two now in this case if it says ki equal volume of all gases contain equal number of atoms so now just see if it's a equal volume now to in this case that one is volume is one one but here volume is 2 so equal number of volume contain equal number of molecule how is it possible because in this case now just see because here this one is 1 1 1 1 volume is given it's 1 given here volume is 1 but here it is 2 but in case of number of atoms if you say number of atom is 1 because volume and number of atom is equal so if one atom is there and volume is also one okay and you have to calculate for one atom okay so in that case this one become half dekho ye half ho jayega kyun kyunki h2 this one is formed by the combination of two hydrogen atom normally but because humne upar wala consideration kiya hai ki equal volume of all gases contain equal number of atom so if their volume is 1 because balancing mein kuch bhi nahi hai it's a 1 okay so if the volume is 1 so atom is also 1 for h2 okay but if when you calculate for single hydrogen so it become half here also if volume is 1 the number of atom is also 1 okay but when you calculate for single chlorine atom okay so this one is again become half atom and here because it's a 2 the two volume okay so this one is okay because here this one become one compound atom so for this it's not a problem for but for this case because half atom is not possible okay and this one so that's why bergelius hypothesis is not valid okay so after that to sort out this problem of half atom and all that avogadro this one is avogadro it's avogadro's gave a law and that one is known as avogadro's law now according to avogadro's law 
okay what he said according to this he said under similar condition of temperature and pressure condition should be uh, similar okay under similar condition of temperature and pressure that one is equal volume now just see equal volume of all gases contain this one is contain equal number of equal number of molecules okay so now just see in this case because here he said ki equal volume of all gases contain equal number of atom but here this one is equal volume of all gases contain equal number of molecule so if you want to you can put here also because if now just see in this one for example if you will take the same case it's a h2 plus this one it gives 2 hcl so if the volume is 1 here also 1 and here okay now here it's 1 1 and here that volume is 2 so in this case volume is equal to molecule so it means if volume is 1 so here how many molecule is present one molecule one molecule now just see one molecule and here it is 2 so it depends like this the so volume volume is equal to number of molecule the so one volume means one molecule and two volume means two molecule okay so when you calculate for single hydrogen atom so you know how atoms are formed when sorry how molecules are formed when two or more atoms combine in a fixed definite ratio by mass then they form molecule so in that case okay if this one is given to so normally Okay, in this case, when you calculate for single hydrogen atom, so this molecule is converted into one atom plus one atom, and that one is equal to two atom of. Yeah, simple in this case. In that case, that one is equal to HCl because it's a two molecule of HCl. Okay, and in that case, it becomes two atom of HCl because it's a hydrogen, one hydrogen, and one is chlorine. Okay, so this one is. possible because one atom is possible but half is not possible okay so for this law you can write one formula also this one is very important that is volume okay that one is equal to number of <laughs> equal number of molecules so it's a equal volume of all gases contain equal number of molecules okay where this one you can say it's a where n is equal to number of moles So it's the same thing. Either it's a number of molecules or number of mole. So this is very important. Okay, that you have to remember for future also because it's required in numericals. Okay. Now thank you.